it looks like I'm the next one. Uh, let me share my screen. Cool. So um, I basically want to announce a new project which has reached milestone one and is ready for production use. Um, so this is called the Edelweiss Decentralized Protocol Compiler. And I'm going to post the link in a little bit. Um, so this is uh, meant to be um, universal language for specifying protocols. Um, and by this, I mean that it's universal in the sense that it is both um, agnostic to the programming language in which uh, different implementations use the protocols, as well as it is independent of the way the protocol is serialized um, on the wire. So uh, it should be able to support um, any serialization. So that includes all the IPOD technology that we typically use, uh, all the serializations that IPOD supports, but also any other protocols like protocol buffers, flat buffers, legacy protocols like BitTorrent and exotic protocols, whatever. Um, so the big point here is that um, the language is meant to have a, a very simple and flexible type system that can describe any pre-existing and future protocols and is also meant to enable um, writing protocols that are very easily extensible um, uh, with maintaining forward and backward compatibility. So um, very briefly, um, from the front page of the project, you will find all the documentation linked in. Um, the, um, the first piece of information is the roadmap for the project. Um, we have completed milestone one. Um, the roadmap uh, captures um, essentially quite a lot of the scope that we plan to cover. The, um, I will talk a little bit more about the first milestone in a second. So the first milestone essentially um, is establishing the, the core type system, um, which is um, an extension over type systems that you typically see in protocol compilers like the IPOD schema compiler or protocol buffers. Um, it, is an, uh, it, it has a few more types because it is meant to be complete in the sense that it can really describe any protocol um, that exists or that you might want to write in the future. Um, so it is able to co-generate uh, clients, servers, and coders and decoders for uh, anything you define in the type system. And in particular, it's, um, it supports um, defining services and methods, and it's uh, completely type safe. Um, um, so uh, it can generate services that you define. So services, you can think of it as very much like in protocol buffer compiler. It can generate Go code um, for clients and servers. And the generated code is completely static, so no reflection, and is um, uh, zero allocation um, uh, uh, for the most part. And soon it will be entirely, hopefully, um, zero allocation. So very, very performant code. This is what you, uh, so everything is very modular. Uh, so the networking stacks that are generated, for instance, for services, uh, can be you can plug in different backends. Currently, we have a backend which uses DAC JSON over HTTP uh, because this was what we needed for the first client of this project, which is the um, delegated routing protocol for IPFS and Hydra. Uh, but if you scroll, you know, when, when uh, later on when you have time, if you scroll down the milestones, you will see um, some of the future scope of the project. So. Um, there will be lots of features that um, uh, people find necessary. So transformations between different protocols, um, which is a generalization of the familiar IPOD schema representations, as well as features that are expected uh, to be needed in the Filecoin actors um, space, like um, passing lambdas across network boundaries. So an example application is one blockchain wants to give a, a callback. Um, so a smart contract wants to provide a callback to a client. Um, and um, 
uh, we aim to be able to sort of describe lambdas uh, over different sort of chains. So uh, different chains might describe lambdas in a different way. And all of this should work quite seamlessly in the language in a uniform way. And uh, you can sort of read about the big picture as you kind of like go through this roadmap document. Um, I will briefly uh, show you the type system that we currently have and just kind of highlight how it's different from um, IPOD schema or protocol compiler schema. So um, um, you will find the uh, standard types that you, you generally expect, so primitives, um, as well as classes like any or, or the nothing type. So composite types like links. Uh, links is of course like a special protocol lab type that doesn't exist in other um, type systems. So these are content links, um, but list map structures. Uh, there are some new additions uh, which are necessary for uh, sort of forward looking features. So um, um, we have a singleton type uh, an inductive type and a union type, which are, um, I'm not going to go into details now, you can read in the documentation, but these are very, very powerful types. Uh, some of them is inspired from the modern type systems coming from languages like Julia and Rust. And of course, uh, there are functional types, service types and methods. So um, the documents that are linked in uh, describe how to use them, what their semantics are, how they're represented on the wire. Um, in the repo, you can find um, uh, a full example of how to define a service. Um, this example is uh, defining like um, uh, uh, sort of an early version of the delegated routing protocol. So it's a real example, slightly simplified, so it's digestible. At the moment, the compiler um, doesn't have syntax parsing. Um, so you would have to uh, define your schemas uh, using um, basically by defining the AST of your type definitions in Go. Um, um, soon we're going to have syntax parsing. Um, this, um, uh, this is sort of not essential, it's just a matter of time. And so this is just a roughly what it looks like to define a, um, a complete service and um, a little bit of uh, Go code that basically um, tells the compiler to generate uh, Go code for this service. Uh, and you can also find in the repo, um, when you run this code, uh, you, can, you, you, you end up with um, uh, the generated code, you, which you can also view in the repo. It's, uh, it's pretty large. Uh, mostly because it's fully static um, and um, quite performant. Um, that's it for me. And I'm going to uh, just send you a link in the chat in case you want to read more and feel free to reach out uh, if you want to use it, have questions. There is a channel in Discord uh, in the IPFS uh, sort of realm called Edelweiss Protocol Compiler. So you can ask questions there or submit issues in the GitHub repo. Cool. Thank you.